What's up ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? Welcome back to another football reaction video watching the Serbia and the Scotland game for the Euro 2020 playoff qualifiers. I personally think that's going to be a very good game and Serbia just a couple of minutes ago had an incredible opportunity. They struck the ball but they just shot it wide the net while Scotland, they also had a chance to score so both of them had one chance each. But the way how I think this game is going to go down is for Scotland, if they want to win this game, they're going to have to rely on a big performance in my opinion from Robertson and McTominay. Well mostly Robertson because Robertson is Scotland's best player player in my personal opinion and as for Serbia on the other hand I think they're gonna have to rely on a big performance from Mitrovic and Milinkovic Savic but I think Mitrovic is definitely gonna score in this game because Mitrovic man even though he didn't score in the last game you know Mitrovic he's still a very good player to go up against so I think he's gonna have a big game today but hey anything can happen in this game so far it's only like the 20th minute what a chance that Scotland had right there a couple of minutes ago Scotland player takes a shot on goal and Serbia's keeper almost spills the shot but he's able to do a quick rebound man I thought that was gonna be a goal right there for Scotland incredible opportunity but just unlucky for Scotland. Great play by Serbia's keeper. So that's halftime ladies and gents. So my quick analysis of the game is that I think that both Scotland and Serbia had even chances so far in the game. Scotland's best chance came you know when Scotland's player almost was able to you know force a mistake from Serbia's keeper but Serbia's keeper was able to recover from that mistake and rebound the ball while on the other hand Serbia's best chance came when they just struck the ball meters wide of the net so honestly second half it's going to be way better but I personally think that uh, in the first half the team that had the better advantage would probably have to be I have to say Serbia I think Serbia had the better advantage in terms of creating chances and just positioning overall ladies and gentlemen what a terrible miss by Scotland oh my goodness I don't know how Robertson didn't put that the way unlucky miss man Scotland had a great chance to be up 1-0 right there but they just skied their shot and ladies and gents it's a goal for Scotland Christie with the goal to put Scotland up 1-0 so Scotland makes it for that missed opportunity right there and great freaking goal man Christie just with an incredible low driven shot into the bottom right corner takes a deflection off of the post and it just sinks into the net man great build up right there by scotland but serbia i don't know what to say about serbia right there but that was just a terrible pass by serbia and scotland are able to take advantage of serbia's terrible pass with just an incredible goal oh my god that was a great shot so ladies and gents so far in the second half man scotland in my opinion they've been playing way better than serbia because i don't know what to say man but serbia they're playing absolute terrible football but scotland on the other hand the biggest difference right now in the second half is that scotland they were able to take advantage of serbia's weakness which is their defense and they were just able to you know put pressure on them to force them into a mistake and they were able to score right there but serbia man i think that they gave that goal away to scotland if i'm being honest here because that pass right there was absolutely horrendous so right now scotland they still have a one nil lead over serbia and the way how I think Scotland can put away this game is just by simply countering Serbia. All they have to do is counter them, and I think that's Scotland. They're going to win this game. Ladies and gentlemen, what can I say about Scotland's performance in the second half? Scotland, they're playing some of the best football I've ever seen. Seriously, man, just the way how they're able to distribute the ball is absolutely incredible, and I don't know how they are not up 2-0 because, I mean, just the way how they're able to, you know, their front three is doing a crazy job, and the way how they're just able to, you know, take advantage of Serbia's weak defense is just absolutely crazy. And look at that, man. Great strike by number 11, but he just struck it wide the net Scotland that could have been 2-0 for them right there and Serbia almost make it 1-1 but they just headed wide the net so Serbia so far their last attempts they've been absolutely unlucky but I think that Serbia they're gonna have to pass the ball more rather than just try and beat their opponent on the long balls because that's what it seems like Serbia are trying to do it seems like that their only strategy right now of trying to get a goal against Scotland is just beating them on the long balls if Scotland doesn't win this game I would be very shocked because I mean just look at how Scotland are playing man they're creating a lot of chances against Serbia they're able to strike the ball but they just can't seem to find that second ball right now because if they make it 2-0 here it's over you know it's just over Based on what I saw in the last couple of minutes of the game when Serbia have the ball, it seems like that they are too scared to take a shot from outside the box and they're just trying to cross the ball inside to get a header. But so far, Scotland, they're doing a great job of defending in the air. Man, what a freaking chance that Serbia had right there. Luka Jovic with an incredible cross opportunity, but he just heads it wide of the net. So I think this is like the third time in this game that Serbia headed the ball wide of the net. So what can I say, man? When it comes to winning in the air, I think Serbia is doing a better job of winning in the air than Scotland. But on the other hand, I just think that Serbia, they're just absolutely unlucky with their headers because, I mean, wow three headers and not one goes in the net that is just absolutely shocking well we are now nearing stoppage time right now serbia are taking a set piece right now but honestly dude i don't know what to say about this game but scotland they 100 percent played better than serbia header oh goal and it's a goal oh holy crap luka jovic with the goal for serbia unreal Yo, just as I thought Serbia were on the brink of elimination and Scotland were finally going to qualify for their first ever tournament, Luka Jovic comes up big for Serbia. Oh my gosh. Yo, that is unfreaking real. Ho, ho, ho. Oh my gosh, what a crazy equalizer. Yo, 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 Jovic. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 
Oh my god, incredible goal, man. You gotta feel bad for Scotland right there. That is just a massive heartbreaker. Well, the game's still gonna decide an extra time. But look at that. What a header by Luka Jovic. Oh my god. Ho, ho, ho. All right, ladies and gents, so now we are in a penalty shootout right now. Serbia, though, in the last 15 minutes of the extra time, I think they were playing way better than Scotland, but Scotland's keeper, man, had some incredible saves. Seriously, Scotland's keeper just made a crazy long shot save, so now we are in pens. All right, and the penalty shootout has begun. Scotland, they're going to be taking the first and ever penalty right now in this game, so let's see what happens. All right, Scotland player steps up. He takes up a penalty, and oh, what a great penalty taken by Scotland. 1-0 for Scotland, number 20 with a crazy strike. All right, he steps up. He's going to take the penalty. Oh, greatly taken down the middle. Serbia player with an incredible penalty. That's Tadic. It's 1-1. One, one. Scotland taking the penalty this time. And now we have the third penalty shootout of the game right now. Scotland player takes the penalty. Oh, great freaking strike. Man, Scotland are really good on penalties so far. Serbia's keeper, though, had a touch on the first penalty, but it just deflected into the net. Oh, great freaking penalty. Yo, that was a great penalty. All right, next up, number 18 takes the penalty. Oh, what a penalty, dude. Yo, the penalty strikes today are so OP. I think Luka, yeah, that's Luka Jovic. And I think Scotland's keeper got a touch on that, but it deflected into the net. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. And now we have number four taking the penalty for Scotland. He's going to step up, strike it. Oh, my God, what a penalty into the bottom left corner of the net. All right, Serbia taking the penalty right now. They got to score here if they want to maintain the penalty shootout momentum right now. Number six for Serbia taking the pen. I think that's Goodell. Steps up, takes the penalty, strikes the ball. Oh, my gosh, sends keeper down the middle, and he makes it into the bottom right corner. Number 19 right now for Scotland lining up to take the penalty, steps up, takes the penalty, strikes it. Oh, he came the same shot as the Serbia player did. Wow, incredible finish. Number two for Serbia steps up, takes the penalty, and oh my gosh, what a strike. Man, Serbia right now today on penalties, they're really good right now. Cut tie with the penalty. Now number 14 for Scotland steps up, takes the penalty, and oh, oh my gosh, what a penalty by him into the top left bin. McLean with the pen. We have Mitrovic taking the penalty for Serbia. He must score here, otherwise Serbia are knocked out of the Euro competition. Mitrovic steps up, takes the penalty. Oh, he saves it. He saves it. Wow. He saves it. Ho, ho. And Scotland have defeated Serbia to advance to Euro 2020. And ladies and gents, that's it. Scotland's keeper makes a save. And Scotland are in the Euros for the first time in a very long time. Scotland have finally qualified for a major tournament. And like, I can't remember when's the last time they qualified for a tournament. But that's it, man. Uh, what a crazy penalty shootout this was, man. But Scotland, fair play to them, man. Well deserved for them. What a game this was, man. Crazy qualifiers. But in the end, Scotland, they got the upper advantage with that penalty. And they are in the Euros right now. So, uh, man, uh, crazy win, man. Scotland, they deserve to win. In this game man Serbia I feel like at the end they got really lucky with that you know Luka Jovic equalizer but Scotland man they 100% deserve to win this game so fair play to Scotland man and you know you got to give props to Serbia as well for showing up in extra time but Scotland man they just absolutely just wanted it more they got the dub man so Scotland are in the Euros that game between Scotland and England at the Euros is going to be pretty pretty lit so Scotland they finally are in the Euros after so many years of just not being able to qualify so hey fair play to them they deserve to do this man and all that stuff but that penalty right their take by Mitrovic was just absolutely terrible but anyways ladies and gents uh, this was a hell of a game what a day for the qualifiers and Hungary also they made a crazy comeback against Iceland so that's another crazy result of the day but ladies and gents hope you enjoyed this video if you did smash the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't and y'all have a good one